Oh, good morning, everybody. Where I'm at, it is about 8 o'clock. I've uh, been up for about... I don't even know. Husband told me to wake him up at 545. Because he's got to get up front because he's not doing PT. Um, he's doing uh, VBS with our daughter. I uh, was supposed to work today, but lady rescheduled, so I thought I'd update everybody. Now, let's see what happens. Uh, not a whole lot has been happening. I have such long cycles that it's just a long wait to ovulate, then a long wait till my period comes. Right now, I am cycle day 18. Uh, supposedly the start of my fertile period, but I was doing a little research a couple weeks ago or so, and about uh, how um, allergy medicine affects cervical mucus. So I've been taking Zyrtec for, oh God, two years now. And, you know, I was like, okay, so maybe that's why, even with the pre-seed, it's obviously not happening. Um, and the first two times we got caught, even though they were chemicals, I was out of medication because we had just moved and trying to get into TRICARE West and stupid TRICARE. So I was actually out of medicine for a good long time, and I did get pregnant. So we decided that... I will tough out, you know, my allergies, and they aren't really that bad. They did get bad yesterday, and I think that was more because of the animals more than anything, because I haven't really been around the animals without my medicine. So, yesterday was bad. Not, it wasn't horrible or anything, it just kind of made me miserable. Um... After a week of not being on my Zyrtec, I did notice that my um, cervical mucus was a better consistency. And I had watery um, cervical mucus on Monday. Was it Monday? Monday? The 15th? Saturday? So, yeah, Sunday, I think. I don't know. Sorry. TV distracted me. <laughs> um... Oh gosh. Sorry about the hair. Like it's morning. I'm not doing nothing with my hair. Um, so yay, shirt. Um, so that's what I think it was the fifteenth that I had the mucus the cervic the watery mucus. And I started spotting. So pop that into my fertility friend. And that apparently was the start of my fertile week. So I started doing OPKs and they've all been high the last two days so I might ovulate a lot sooner just because of the Zyrtec is pretty much out of my system um, according to fertility friend I might ovulate anywhere between the 20th and the 25th but with the way my cervical mucus is looking oh well, actually I can't really check it because you know there's that whole um, you know, how do you check your cervical mucus when you're baby dancing every day? <laughs> so, but I mean, it's been a, a straight consistency. It's been, uh, either between creamy and watery. So I think I'm doing good. <laughs> so today's cycle day 18. Anniversary is on the 24th. <sighs> it would have been great if I could tell my husband I'm pregnant on our anniversary, but... It's not going to be that, but that's okay. But that's what's been going on. I've had some other symptoms that I don't normally have. More acne, as you can see here right in my mouth. I don't even know. Like, my body is, like, rejecting everything. <laughs> so... Uh, that is my update today. I'm like, I'm not still not awake, even though I've been awake forever. <laughs> Sorry, I get distracted by the TV so easily. I don't normally get to sit down and just like be. I'm like always on the run. Daughter's at Bible school. 
son is asleep, husband is with the daughter, and I can actually sit and watch the TV and without any distractions. So, let's see. I think that's it. Um, husband is very excited about the whole baby dancing for a week. Like, I've been reading in a lot of forums that husbands will, like, get anxiety and think of it as a chore. My husband is just like, yeah, more sex. <laughs> so I don't understand how these other women are, like, complaining. I'm like, man, I can't even keep my husband, like, you know, so. But that's our journey right now. And I do apologize for it being so long. But, like I said, with these long cycles that I've been having lately, and I'm wondering if it is because of the Zyrtec, I'm going to call the doctor and see if I can get like, on the singular. Because the only reason why I'm taking the Zyrtec so much is because of my asthma. And allergies, of course, affect asthma. But with the singular, so with the singular, it's... Uh, it's a uh, something blocker. I forget. Lute, lute is something blocker instead of an antihistamine, which isn't going to dry out any kind of mucus. So I'm going to talk to my doctor and see if I can get on that instead of the Zyrtec. And this will be good. Good. <laughs> Price of the Guardians, you guys. If you've, ever, if you've never seen it, watch it. Jack Frost, It's Bunny. Santa Claus. <laughs> I mean, I love kids' movies. Um, not just because of my kids. I'm just a kid at heart, you know. I love watching kids' movies. I like the whimsical, fun nature of kids' movies. You don't normally get that on a day-to-day -day thing. You know, once you're an adult, you have to become an adult. Responsibilities and adulting and blah, blah, blah. Um, sorry. <laughs> Well, I do thank everybody for watching, and I will try to keep you updated for the rest of this week. Try to do it every other day for this fertile week to see if there's any changes. If I ovulate early, which I'm hoping I do because my husband is actually going back to NTC sometime in August. <sighs> He's not happy about that. I'm not happy about that, but it is the nature of the beast. Hashtag go army. Hashtag army wife. Hashtag army strong. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for watching and sorry. Focus. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Bye.